Andre Rublev vs Taylor Fritz is the first semi-final for Monte Carlo Masters for 2023. And both guys have been very impressive to get to the semi-final stage. Fritz started the tournament off as the number eight seed and we're gonna buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Stan Wawrinka, the former Monte Carlo champion, and after a very close first set, Fritz would get through in straights, 7-6, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on the informed Lehechka, who had transferred his very aggressive hardcore game onto the clay. And after dropping the first set, Fritz would have to fight back to win, 4-6, 6-4, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fritz would take on the two-time defending champion and second seed, Stefano Pass. And this was by far Fritz's best match of the week. Dominating City Pass in straight sets, 6 2 6 4, to make it to the semis. Rublev started the tournament off as the number five seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Munar, and after dropping the first set, Rublev would have to fight back to win, 4 6 6 2 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on countryman Hashinov, the number nine seed, who had been sneaking through the draw. But after a close first set, Rublev got through in straights, 7 6 6 2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rublev would take on the qualifier Struff, who had been the surprise of the tournament. And after a very close second set, Rublev would eventually get through in straights, 6-1-7-6, to advance to the semifinals. These guys have played six times before, with Fritz leading the head-to-head 4-2, -head and having won their last three meetings, including a very close match in Cincinnati last year, but they've never played on a clay court until today. Having a look at the shot quality for both these guys over the last year, Fritz edges out the serve with an 8.2, Rublev at an 8.0, both well above to average. On the returns, Fritz also edges out Rublev, 7.2 to 7.0, again, ahead of the two average. But on the forehand side, that is where Rublev takes the edge with an 8.3 compared to the 8.1 of Fritz, both again, way ahead of the two average. And the backhand side is just ahead for Fritz with a 7.5 to 7.3 from Rublev. So Rublev's gonna have to use his forehand to dictate the rallies and Fritz He's gonna have to use that big serve for him to get on top. Shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at Tennis Insights. It is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and impact on the opponent. The number of the player cards are actually the 52 week rolling averages. Go check them out on Twitter, link down below. This is a very fun matchup and these guys have played so many times before, but first time on clay and it was so impressive to see Fritz taking out City Pass so easily with some of those big serves that he hit. I'm gonna go with Fritz in three sets. I reckon he's gonna make the final and take out Rublev. Unfortunately, Rublev has never won one of these big titles, so I think Fritz's experience might play a part as well. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's gonna make it to the final?